so I'm at Kirkland's and I do see that and then maybe something else. I'm not sure what all might be in here, but I'm gonna see if I can grab this without jumping in. So this says home sweet home. But uh, I just I didn't even notice they said they wrote done on it. Oh my gosh, that would have been so cute. I mean, I think it has like a bronzy gold finish. They didn't used to destroy things, but I guess now they've been getting better. But I know there's more people in this area that do come here now. Okay, you guys, so I think I just found a mirror and I don't know if it, it doesn't look shattered to me. That would be so crazy. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna pull it out. Okay guys, this is so cool. It's not even shattered in any place. Oh my god, you guys, the sprinkler is turned on. Oh, it scared me so bad. I'm gonna get this in the car. Really quick guys, here is the mirror. Um, I think the only thing I saw that was wrong with it is this little edge right there is a little bit smashed. And I think, no, then that, I think that's about it. But it's a really nice mirror. You guys can see there's this, and then I don't know what this is. There's a pet gate, and I know I'm standing on it, but I can't grab all of this because I'm moving for a couple months to Florida. So I'm only grabbing what I know I can use, which oh, I just hit my head, which does suck because I would like to grab it all. Okay, and here's the dog crate. Looks like a really nice one. Hey guys, so now it's I'm in Louisiana and it's a new Ulta. So I'm gonna check it out and see if we find anything. Uh, let's see, it looks really full with displays. This might be their actual dumpster. Okay, it is. See that there's a bunch of elf brushes? I'm gonna pull that out and see. It's a brand new Ulta in this location. Oh, it's just like the mini ones. But I think I'm still gonna grab them, see if I can pull them out. Okay, so I'm searching and I see a destroyed bag. Destroyed items. I'm also seeing a display. A couple of them. Okay, so right back in this corner. I see that. doesn't look like there's too much in it, but I'm just going to put it on top and deal with that in a second. Oh, I, just, I just broke that. It's not worth going through. They just cut the tops off of, off of like all of the products and such, and they did a good job at destroying it. I'm trying to, like, without opening it, look inside. But I think they are, like, really destroyed. Looks like they did a good job at it bags but they cut them up really good as you can see they cut them up and nothing is good in this at all which it does suck and a dumpster truck just came up to it so like we just pulled up to the old zone. see all the old stuff so yep I got lucky yeah okay so I'm walking up to an Ulta and I saw this on the ground maybe someone's already dived here they oh my goodness okay bags Okay, I see a bunch of destroyed items, okay, okay, inside this bag are sheet masks, they opened them up, just a bunch of destroyed product, there's a lot to go through. So, a lot of these are the body shop. Let's 
I'm gonna go through these a little bit. This is all dirtied up, as you can tell. Um, there's still a couple more bags to go through. So I'm gonna go through them right now. I found a couple of little things in that box. Hey you guys, I'm walking up to a Staples and I already was here. I had to go grab some gloves, but I found a bag from them and there's some Starbucks and different coffees in here. So I might just grab this whole thing. Um, I don't, these, oh, if, if, there's M&Ms, but they feel all melted up. So I'm gonna grab the coffee at least. They didn't poke it and I think they're still sealed. So there might be other stuff in here. So I'm gonna check it out. Hey guys, so I just got home from the trip and here's three different bags of candies. This is all from Staples. I got some M&Ms, some chocolates and some more hard candies and then another pack of M&Ms, and then some coffees, and I got some Dunkin' Donuts, and then a bunch of different Starbucks. And then there's three here, and then two more here. And they say, and the, oh, and two Maxwell House. Um, I think these are decaf, and they say in here it said out of date, but a couple of them are not even out of date yet, so. And the coffees that are out of date, they're only like a month or two out of date. So I got a couple, oh, one more thing, pistachios. I got a nine pack with little mini pistachios in it. And I love pistachios. So that's a good thing. I found some pretty cool stuff today. Okay, so I am in a new Ulta, and let me see, I see some gift cards, but in this bag I see some palettes, they look like they smashed up pretty well, yep, that's the one I just found at the other one, and Okay, so I'm back on the road now, and in one of the little bags, I found a couple of these. They popped the caps off, so I'm going to put them back together and clean them and such. But I found some Smashbox products and then this broken Wet n Wild palette. So hopefully I can save some stuff in here. but it's actually this one as you can see and there's a little bit in it I'm just gonna peek in and see if there's anything good this is oh wait okay I see some little Kylie testers and such I'm gonna grab those I think I just found the exact same ones at a different Ulta in a different state so I'm gonna grab those out in this little bag, I found an all-nighter. I don't know if it's anything in them yet, but I'm just kind of grabbing them. And I'm going to take them to the car and look through them in a second. Okay, and then a palette with stuff in it. Kirkland's and so far I just pulled this out of the dumpster it does have a giant X and Sharpie I'm not sure if alcohol will take away both will take away the back paint too but I also see this which I cannot reach it but I'm gonna try okay I'm sorry about that loud buzzing sound but this is what it was I think it's so cute and it has I don't know if that's supposed to be there, all the scratches, but I see it all over. The only thing I see that's wrong with it is this little peg right here is loose. As you can see, like a piece broke, but I think I'm still going to take it and do something with it. I 
I see. Uh, let me grab this. Oh, it's like a little... Oh, I think it's to this. Okay, more picture frames. Let me put that to the side. Oh, this is a cute little mug, but it's broken. A lot of broken glass. That's what I'm seeing today. Mm. Okay, I see a cup. And I don't see a cap, but maybe I'll find it. Okay, over here, I see this. I don't know what part on it is broken. Oh, it's missing. Oh, that can be an easy fix. It's, this little piece came off, but I'm gonna grab that. Okay, just pulling this out, this scared me because I thought it was like a snake or something, but it's just a broken bowl. Okay, I found a hand wash gel. There's a lot more, but I can only take so much, and another diver actually is pulling up. So I'm gonna let her take whatever's left, whatever she might want. But I found some pretty cool stuff so far, so I hope you guys enjoyed this from Tuesday morning. To an Ulta in Kentucky, and it looks like trash just came not too long ago. They had her turn box, and everything's empty. As you can see, the last Ulta in Kentucky, and it actually has stuff in it. It's um, the trash didn't come, so it's really messy on the outside. I guess people that go here, they make a mess. They don't clean it up. So I'm surprised they haven't mocked it yet. Pac-Man. Um, let's see, I'm gonna check the other side. But as you guys can see, it's very messy back here. People just make a huge mess and leave it like this. Okay, I found this bag and it's really heavy with Kylie, stuff from Kylie. So I'm just gonna grab this and take it with me. But as you can see, that's a mess. So I don't know how bad this is gonna be. It's kind of loud, but I'm walking up to Marshall's and a Tuesday morning in the shared dumpster. I'm seeing a bunch of poured out coffee and I'm also seeing some other small things. That might be a curtain set, but it might all be at the bottom, which is going to take some digging, but you can see all the Starbucks. So, and they poured all the chips out and stuff. So, I'm gonna see if I can find anything in here. I'm, I'm looking through, I see some picture frames. I'm gonna open this up. Okay, that's a pretty cool picture frame. I think the back might be popped out or something. I'm gonna put that there. Oh, that's, that's cute, but it's a broken plate. Oh. Yeah, a lot of broken stuff. Looks like it would have been a candle holder. Uh, let's see what else. This corner, there's some little flowers which are super cute. I don't know what's wrong with them. And I see a new pillow. Probably I see some new stuff from Tuesday morning. So I'm gonna try and... And they threw my stick away. I took my little poking stick and they threw it away because I just kind of left it and ran away but they threw it away so <sighs> I'm gonna try and see if I can retrieve it or not okay so here's the flowers and then a there's a drapery rod set and a pillow which I don't see anything wrong with it it's really cute I'm gonna grab that I see my stick all the way down there. So let me see if I can get through this. Part of this bag. 
I put it in the car already, but it looked like it had some good stuff in there. But I've never been to a Burlington before. Let me grab a stick. Bag from Burlington, and I looks like they destroy some of their products. I see these glasses, which are bent. Like they bent them. I don't think I can fix them, but I can try. There's a speaker that was in this box. Crystal LED speaker, and it looks like this. Looks like they popped this thing off of it. Get it back in. Oh, it just pops back in. Okay, speaker with that box. And then, oh, here's that watch. But, looks like it's broken. But I might be able to still get it fixed. That's a cool find. So it looks like that's all that was in this bag. I like the watch, but first time going to Burlington and I'm not disappointed. So I'm at an Ulta, Indiana, and I see a return bag and I'm seeing things that are full, like brand new full. Not, not everything is super destroyed. I've never really had an Ulta that hasn't destroyed things. This bag pretty good. Um, I don't, I'm gonna go through some of this messier stuff last because that's all it's like destroyed but over here I'm seeing like really things like things are really not that destroyed so I'm gonna grab some of the good stuff see like these wipes they didn't even destroy them that's crazy I've yet to find an Ulta that really does too much inside a different bag and there's certain things that are just not even destroyed which to me is crazy because I don't find ultas like this <laughs> so I'm trying to grab what I can because that is for me like this is just like what <laughs> I don't find they only do certain things it looks like and of course I got lucky I came on a day that they did destroy boxes. Pacifica. Hemp's. I'm curious to see what they do to their pellets. Oh, their pellets. Okay, they do a pretty good job to the pellets, I guess. This one is more destroyed than the other ones, for sure. I'm at an Ulta in Illinois, and it looks like someone's already been here. You can kind of see, like, I think I see some gloves and um, the empty soup boxes. But I'm just going to double check and see if there's anything else that might be in here. But I don't, I don't think I'm going to get lucky and find anything else. And I'm not seeing anything. I'm only seeing destroyed items. Maybe in here, I think. Oh my gosh. They snapped it. Dang. <laughs> but I, I think I'm gonna grab it just to see if I can fix it or not. A dry bar with a cut cord. And just like trash. They do destroy things pretty good here, so. Okay, so for the haul, I'm going to start out with Burlington, and I found this really awesome polo watch. I don't have the time set correctly yet, as well as this watch I don't have, but they're both working, and the back was popped off, and I just popped it back in, and it it's staying in, and it's working. 
so it's just like a little men's watch and then in this really pretty case I found a BB watch and sadly it is broken it looks like it's missing a couple screws and it fell apart but the actual watch itself is working which is a shame but hopefully I can do something with it um, so I found those and then I found this speaker which is so cool it's like a little ch color changing LED speaker it has a nice a nice face on it and if you guys let me see if I'll turn it on and off You can hear it, I gave it a good charge, and it's working great. I did try my best to mix it up for some people. I know you guys, not everyone likes to see makeup and cosmetics, so I tried to go to other places, but I didn't have the best luck. But for Ulta, I found all of these makeup wipes from Pacifica, and they were, they're all sealed, as you can see. They still have like a little seal on them, which is cool. And I tried, I think I opened this one and I tried some out because I was on vacation in a little hotel and I needed some makeup wipes. But they smell really great, at least this one does. I haven't opened any of these yet, but they didn't cut them and they were all sealed still. So these were a really nice find, I just had to clean them up. And then from the same one that I got the Pacifica wipes, I found more Pacifica items. I don't know what brand the bath bombs are, but they're all still sealed. Some of them were not, but I was able to save a couple that were. And they're just like these nice little gold bath bombs. And then I found some more Pacifica Coconut Dissolve Cleansing Oil Rehab. And coconut does not go good on my skin, so I'm not going to be using these. I'm either going to give them away or sell them. They're brand new, as you can see. I have a Pacifica Cherry Lava Charcoal Mask, and I don't have the cap to it, but I'm probably just going to use some tin foil just to keep it good and try it out for myself. And along with this, I found a little Bliss brush, which is like a, um, a brush for applying face masks, so that kind of goes good. I also found some more Pacifica which I found two of these perfumes, which I found in my last video, but I didn't find the Ruby Guava. So these are a new scent and they're pretty full, as you can see. Uh, the other ones, the bottles were not super full. They were almost empty, but the rollers were. I also found this, which I found in my last video, a Tuscan Blood Orange, and it's a spray, the Pacifica. And then from some various Ulta's, I can't go in order, I don't remember them exactly, but I know I found these two together. They're H2O Plus Coconut Verbena, and this one is a body oil shimmering spray, and then, or mousse, and this is a body butter, and they smell really great. I don't know if this is the cap that goes to it, I wasn't able to clean it super well as you can see, but... This cat, it does kind of work with it, so I'm going to keep it with it and then keep trying it. This I don't have the cap to, but I can switch it out. It's a hemp's body mousse, another body mousse, and this one smells so great. And then a Macadamia Professional Anti-Humidity Finishing Spray, which I'm going to need because I'm in Florida. My hair does not agree at all. <laughs> and then I found a couple powders in a palette. This one is almost empty. I did want to show you guys. It is a primer from Tarte and it has a nice little case and everything, but it is almost empty. Let me open it up and show you. As you can see, it is almost empty, but I thought it was still cool to show you guys. Um, there might be a little bit of use left, but it is missing the little, I guess maybe a sponge it came with, but I found that and then I found an Urban Decay All Nighter. It's a waterproof. Oh, what? Well, it's a waterproof setting powder. Okay, I just gave up trying to open it on camera, but All Nighter Urban Decay and I just closed it. And it still has quite a bit of product. It hit pan a little bit, but still use left, so I'm gonna keep that pretty cool find and then I also found a sugar rush by Tarte keep calm sunnies on eyeshadow palette Very cute packaging as expected by Tarte and then it's 
missing two shades, sadly, but there's these shades are pretty much good, except this one in the corner, it's a little bit used up, but there's still so much use left, so it was a good find. Then I found two sets of Eco Tools, it's like a little skincare bundle, and the brushes came out a little bit messed up. They're kind of disfigured, but that's okay. I found the little stones that came with it, rollers, and then I'm guessing these are for under your eyes for puffy bags, but I found these, I, I was able to clean them up and save them. I found a couple of brushes, this one is a airbrush from Ulta It Cosmetics, and it has some staining that I still have to try and get off, I haven't spent too much time on it a little angled liner brush and I'm guessing that's Ulta, yeah, Ulta Beauty. I found this which is actually broken in half but it's a really clean cut so I'm gonna glue it back together. I should have done it before the video but I don't have any super glue or anything like that right now but it's just like the little rollers and I've actually wanted to try these, I just haven't bought one so that's a pretty cool find for myself. Eco tools and then this might have actually been in the set with these guys but I was only able to find one and it's just like a little brush either for your face or body, I'm not too sure. And then a, a first aid beauty daily face cream oil free and it's missing like the little cap like the pumper but if you open it up you can still use it and just use like the little straw and get it out that way i found these from urban decay which are like glitter liners <clears throat> excuse me and i actually just bought two and I actually bought the same color. I bought this one and I just found it. So I have two of them now. And But I do really love how these go on. And I, I like putting glitter liner on sometimes just to go a little bit extra. And then a bunch of the Smashbox. I think these are metallic, metallic lippies. And I was able to save these ones. And there's some pretty different unique colors. In the past, I think I've had the rose gold one. I don't know if I have it here, but I had the rose gold one and I didn't like how it looked on me, but still like a really nice formula. And then almost towards the end of Ulta, I was able to find some Kylie lip lipsticks. And I think these three might be the exact same color. Their bottoms always like to rub off when I use alcohol. These two are a little bit different I don't know if you can see on the camera, but a little bit different, and then two other ones, and then a couple of the liners, and then I found a couple of the Kylie concealers, and I don't know what happened when I used alcohol, it turned white on the lid, and I think if I scrub it off, it'll come off, but I found three of them. So, for my trip, I was able to get quite a bit from the Ulta's that I went to and a couple other places. Hey guys, so this is what I had from a couple different Tuesday mornings and a Marshalls. I'm looking back at some of the footage and I know like some of it was not very well and I didn't record it all. So I'm gonna get better at that, but I wanna show you guys what I found either way. So first up, I found this really nice drapery rod from Tuesday morning. It was $19.99, and I opened it up, and I don't see anything that's wrong with it. I might have missed something, but it's really nice. I found this little pillow, and it has snowflakes on it, blue and gold. And one of the edges had a little problem on it. It was right here. There's a little tiny stitching problem right here. But other than that, there wasn't too much wrong with it. It was $14.99. The back does have a little bit of dirt. If you can see it, you might not be able to. But it had a little bit of dirt on it. And then I put everything in a box. So I got these flowers, which are kind of similar to some of them I found at Michael's. But these were Tuesday morning and it was returned. I don't know exactly why, the only thing maybe the bottom, but otherwise they're in pretty good shape. 
There's a little picture frame and I love how it is and it has like a distressed gold and white look and it still has a piece of broken glass that I'm going to pull out and just use it for the frame. That was $3.99 and then a lifetime of love and it has like little roses or flowers on them and I think this might have come from a Hallmark if I'm correct but it was $22.99. And then there's this cute little dish that has a little chip in it, but it says cottage on the coast, if you can get that. And then a little spoon, or <laughs> a little, um, I still can't get it, a little fork, and it's like the same ceramic. Found this mirror, which is really nice. The 5X zoom is perfectly fine on that side, but this side, is cracked sadly but i took it anyway because it's a really nice mirror and it has a good zoom on it it's just a little silver this from tuesday morning it was 6.99 and it's like a little plate i don't know what's wrong with it i don't see any chips actually i see this one okay that has like a little tiny chip but that's about it we'll have picture frames this one is very pretty I think it has a little right there, it has a sticky spot, which I'm going to try and get off. And then this white one, it's just kind of like a little design on it, but it's like a white little picture frame. They don't have glass. And then I have more picture frames. I, I got a bunch this time. And it just looks like that. And it's double sided. I don't see what's wrong with it. Both of the glass pieces are still perfectly fine. And then I got this, which is another picture frame, no glass, but it has a nice little wooden frame piece to it. This, which it is broken, it's missing something on it, but I just kind of like how it looks and I can figure something out to do with it instead of leaving it behind. And lastly, I have a little candle holder. I don't think it's the prettiest, but it's it's still, it's a savable piece. But this was $9.99. And I don't know what it says on inside. I don't know, but it was $9.99 candle holder.